Hello and welcome to episode three of Crypto Cartography. We are talking enterprise business and crypto, and from an investing standpoint, that's always exciting. We are talking Constellation DAG, cash tag DAG. Market cap about 28 million right now. Uh, pri token price, two cents. If we look back at our history, uh, max logarithmic chart, we had the token issuance on around June 2018. Um, I believe they raised about 33 million in their ICO. Um, it's been a rough couple of years since the BTC bull run of late 17, um, and and it's recently we've just had a nice little uptick, um, especially since since the COVID dip. Um, if we look at where it's where it's exchanged, as you can see, it's only really listed on KuCoin um, and hit BTC, but the trust score is low. Um, for people new to crypto investing, um, this is a good sign in terms of token growth potentially. Um, once Constellation is open to listing their token on a new exchange, we do typically see a price increase. Um, typically, it's harder to get for you and I, but the, the that trade-off is worth it, um, given that the rest of the market, uh, the rest of that demand won't come until it's easier for them. Now, straight over to our TLDR investment thesis. Constellation's Hypergraph network is a post-blockchain DLT platform known as a directed acyclic graph, or a DAG, that provides a scalable platform for enterprise-sized data processing and data exchange. So they're building the data pipelines for enterprise business and cybersecurity for big data using post-generation blockchain tech. What's a DAG? Let's have a look. This is the best graph I've seen for a linear blockchain, so your typical Bitcoin blockchain, versus a DAG. We've got our black dots are our blocks, and our white dots are our nodes down here um, that circle the blocks and validate them. Um, and over here, as you can see for the DAG, we've got a system that has multiple black dots um, and white nodes still surrounding them. So this is the best image I've seen of, for what a DAG is. Um, based on this, our primary valuation propositions for Constellation in the Hypergraph network, big data auditability, big data validation, big data notarization. If we go to that website, that's exactly what we see, big data validation, big data notarization, scalable interoperability um, between different blockchains. As you can see on their, on their website, this is cybersecurity for big data. They want honest data for a connected future. Um, here are their three, the three parts of their technology. They do have the network and the protocol, solving bad data through secure, validated, notarized, interoperable data pipelines. Pretty much as simple as that, even though it's quite complex. Immutable data ledges. The five immediate use cases that they put on their website was bad data, mobility, internet of things, healthcare, and energy. Um, they also talk a lot about the connectivity of devices and the tracking of device to device data. Their consensus mechanism is unique to them. It's a proof of reputable observation. So we do have consensus mechanism risk, as in unproven technology. They got a Spore platform. So if you want to build on Constellation, you can do that and integrate Constellation with your data. They also are monetizing data through their DAG token, uh, which we are looking to purchase. Um, and it attributes the value to computer data. So we want to see government's enterprise si or enterprise business lock up DAG um, to show the monetization of their data. Industry serves many um, things that we just talked about. Crypto comparables. Uh, we got Ocean, another data play. Other crypto data organizations, other crypto cyber, crypto cybersecurity organizations, other crypto organizations building for enterprise business in general. Um, crypto operating systems. And then legacy IoT systems that don't use blockchain or DLT technology. Everyone's trying to capture and monetize data. And our DAG token is simply another way to do this. Um, tokenomics, as we've talked about, the token utility is the currency of the network and the monetization of data. Um, the token issuance supply is known, uh, thankfully. If we come back over here, um, here is our token schedule. Um, the, the one that to note is our validator number. It's about 43% of the total supply. Um, we do have different vesting schedules related to the different parties. Um, 10 years for the validators distributed. There is a schedule for that. Community distributed when needed and the advisors and partners that just got released here in June. Now, the interesting thing to note is we got a foundation with illiquid um, tokens, around 532 million. So you could probably see that as um, almost an endowment for the organization if you wanted to compare it to you know, pretty much a university. 
Moving on to um, timelines and partners. Um, actually, really quickly, leadership. Leadership is known and public with all their LinkedIn's here, so it, it is a known known organization. Um, active partners: Moby, Hyperledger, Quant, and Chainlink. This is really great to see, as we know these are two uh, two quality organizations um, per what the community tells us and per my per my personal research. Um, so I gave it a, our our partner ranking is strong. Um, Risks. If we come down to our risks, um, our biggest risk is techn techn technological feasibility. Um, so this is next generation DLT tech that's unproven. And it's enterprise adoption and execution risk. At the end of the day, we need people to come onto the DAG, uh, the Hypergraph network, and data process and data exchange using that network. Um, and then that will that would create value for the DAG token. Now, more moving on to the quantitative side. Let's assume we threw in just giving away my hand. Let's say we threw in a thousand bucks um, with a price of a little under tw uh, two cents right now. We're going to get 50,000 tokens. Uh, market cap 28 million. Fully diluted market cap right now, still only 80 million. And for the problems we're solving in enterprise data, governments, that seems low to me um, if the tech is true, which is a big if always. Um, Let's say we in, uh, bump this market cap up to 100 million. We're looking at about six cents for for the token. 250 million, 10 cents. 1 billion, 33. 10 billion, two two dollars and 86 cents. So we've got massive growth potential for this business, uh, for the organization. Excuse me. And even though we've only issued 30 percent of, um, or excuse me, around 36 percent of the the, the the total supply, you can see we have some really solid growth potential here and some growth percentages, um, even with me myself estimating some circulating supply increase, uh, working uh, up to around 33.5 billion once we get to a $10 billion market cap. So even if, even if we pump this up to the fully, uh, the, for, the full 4 billion, we're still looking at uh, about 12,000% gains. So potential outcomes, like any crypto project, failure. Um, so you could lose all of your money. We could sell in the third BTC bull run. Uh, look for around that 0% to 2,000% gain, 1,000%. We could sell in the fourth BTC bull run. Um, wait, get, make the network get a little larger. Maybe the next bull run is related um, to data when this one, this coming one seems to be look like it's uh, it's a DeFi bull run. And Or we could hold and become a network participant, um, be a validator, and actually participate in, in the data revolution. So if you are looking for someone with these characteristics in your port in your crypto portfolio, this is, I believe, a really strong play. Uh, my entry point would be anywhere under 50 million, um, and really hoping that this turns into a billion dollar organization. Um, so our portfolio characteristics: next generation DLT tech, um, data. It's a data play. It's an enterprise business play, a cybersecurity play, government play, Internet of Things play. Well, it's a government adoption of crypto play. Uh, <laughs> of crypto and its uses with data. So based on all of this, to me, Constellation's a strong buy. Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know any risks that I missed that you may see. Um, seems like we've really got a really strong coin here that um, as we see our crypto market cap go from 382 into the trillions, we're going to see some large growth in Constellation. Looks like they're solving, solving very big problems for enterprise business. I'm excited about it. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks.